I was so mad because in my head I was kind of like at the point Ty came in in my head I was like I'm so single in this place why would if you're gonna send him in at least send him in when I've got like someone with me so I can flex a little bit if you're driving and you know that police car needs to get somewhere it's nothing to do with you if that was the negative comment I just move out the way get back in your lane yeah that's how I do it now I'm gonna put ick but I'll put all stars as an ick for me because I was an unpaid therapist the whole time <laughs> I wasn't in Love Island I wasn't even I was on Friend Island you was on Friend Island it was all your mates were just ick. loved up that's your ick, ick. Hey guys, welcome back to another season of Amy Charlize's Private Story. This new series is going to be so, so good because I'm so excited to share even more about my world as I keep you guys up to date with everything that's going on in my life and spill even more tea. If you're new here, I'm a content creator with a passion for all things beauty and fashion and I love to overshare and tell you guys a bit too much so on this podcast you can expect things about my relationships, friendships and even more. And every week I'm joined by other influencers, celebrities, my own family members and friends to talk all about the latest gossip, their picnics and their very own private stories. And I want you guys to keep getting involved just like you did last season. So please make sure to keep sending in your latest stories, questions and dilemmas for us to work through in this judgment free zone. So welcome back to my private story. Let's go. another episode of Amy Charlize's Private Story. So today I've got a guest that I have been loving. She's all over my TikTok right now with Chris and Toby and I'm loving it. So I've got Kaz. Hey. Hello girl, how are you? I'm good babe, how are you? Good, I'm good thank you. Can you give an introduction to the people at home listening um, yeah. of who you are? Um, I'm Kaz, can we? I was on season seven of Love Island, all stars as well. I'm just the queen of living her best life, to be honest. <laughs> she was riding that whole entire thing. She was just cruising. At, oh. at that rate, you was just there. Like, I loved it. I was like, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> you honestly, yeah, free holiday. I take it too. So I, ac I actually saw Kaz last year in a box. Didn't say anything, I was too scared. But I was I was watching you. You was loving Chris Brown. Because <laughs> I so saw lit. Cash, you had like some light. You had a light, didn't you? Oh, I always have a light. You oh always God. have that light box. And honestly, at this event, she had this light box and I thought she knows what she's doing. The my videos in my bag. Fire. <laughs> is it? All she's doing is getting her hair done. This is the thing. But um, how have you been since coming off? I've been good. Honestly, I feel like this time around, I just came out and I was like, I'm just going to carry on living, focus on everything like positive and just just enjoying life. Which like, is the best way to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like, I've just had a free holiday. Let me just carry on now. So you <laughs> was on season seven. Yeah. Uh, how was that? Season seven, um, when I look back, it was good. It had its, up, its, it had its ups, it had its downs, yeah. but I feel like I had more fun than not. I feel like I had a harder time when I came off initially because everything was just so new and I was like, wow. Yeah, I'm it must be so overwhelming. Oh, babe, I was like, I do not want any parts. I was like, I've ruined my life. Get me out. And I ghosted for like two months. But then I think I've come to realise that it was just transitioning and adjusting into like being used to like people's opinions and all this stuff. And now I'm just like, okay. So I think when I came out this time around, I was kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. So what would you say is like the difference between the two that you've been on? Not even Ooh. just being out, was there much difference in the villa from the first time and this time? I feel like my experiences in the villa for both were quite more similar. I mean, this time around I left just single. The first time around I left with someone, so yeah. that was different. Um, I feel like the first time, it's the first time I've done a show, so I knew no different. Whereas this time around, so if you've done a show before, you, I knew everyone there this time, so it was kind of like, it was easier to adjust. Actually, I adjusted pretty easy the first time. Yeah, you, I don't think either time there was I'm anything like, oh. bad with you. Like, I'm you've like, always oh. just been living the life. Listen, I do my best with what's handed to me, <laughs> even when it's <laughs> treacherous. Um, I was so in treacherous times. <laughs> I've been told that you got approached by Tilt to Handle, but it wasn't Tilt to Handle yeah. made. No. Oh, it was parties in paradise. So the first time, so before I went on to season seven, yeah. um, the girl I was speaking to, I'm still friends with her to this day, that cost me, she was actually approaching me for too hot to handle parties in paradise is what she told me. Right. She was like, it's singles, they're going, you're going to be, I'm going from island to island, sailing away. And I was like, yeah, like sign me up. Yeah. And then she was like, I, th I think three weeks before, they're like, your flight's in three weeks. And they're like, I want you to do a different show. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, we'll message you in a month about it. I was like, okay. And then a month later, they were like, so it's Love Island. And I was like, oh, okay. So would you have rather done to it to handle? Now you say you had both opportunities right there. And, and you're I back knew at the it was beginning. Too to handle. Yeah. No, I think I'd stay with Love Island because I feel like if I knew it was too hard to handle, I might have panicked a bit more. 
I mean, like, that oh. is mad. That, that oh. show. Have you watched it? Like, I have watched it. I love the show. Yeah. Like, I'm a, I love to watch handle. I think it's like, great. I'm like, get me on there. Let's get crazy. But in the same breath, I feel like I wouldn't change like my experience, my journey, really. Do you know what I mean? That could have gone, I don't know how that could have gone. Yeah, so no, it's kind of no, just like, oh. no, that it's just been mental. mad though. Yeah. So you was also a Love Island fan. Yeah, so season one and two were the only ones I hadn't watched at all, as in like, at all, nothing. Yeah. Season three, so my sister's been watching Love Island since season one. So I watched bits of season three. So season three was kind of like, you know, you know those friends who watch like the first three episodes of Love Island with you, then they disappear for like two weeks. And then they watch the next episode, they're like, where's this person, where's that person? And you're like, well, haven't you been keeping up? Yeah. So that was me during <laughs> season three. So I was like in and out. So like, I, I've, I've met so many people from season three now. So rough idea of like some people, not everyone. Yeah. But season one and two, zero clue. Then the, from like season four, I, I was locked in. Like, I, locked my in. series was, I really liked the chem one. Then I didn't watch it for a while. Yeah. And then Molly May, that was like my... Five. Five. Yeah. That was when I went back and since then I've literally been addicted. That yeah. show is so That was like iconic addictive. moment. Yeah. Season five. Everyone holds it to like a pedestal. Yeah. But I was going to ask you, this is just really random. Yeah. But if you could be in that villa with any ex-Islander and yeah. say you've not been in with them, say it's not someone that you know already, who would it be? Anna Bikili. Okay. I love her. <laughs> she no, is like, amazing. I love her. I think she's just hilarious yeah and i'm like a friend like that i'm like i need you, you yeah she, <laughs> need you need you. her back in there honestly so when you went in first yeah. time round, you come out and you was with tyler for three months yeah and then second time round, yeah tyler come into the villa yeah how was you feeling i was fuming no i was so mad because in my head i was kind of like at the point ty came in in my head i was like i'm so single in this place why would you, if you're gonna send him in at least send him in when i've got like someone with me so i can flex a little bit like no you yeah. wants to be the single girl when the rex walks in do you know what i mean no. it's kind of just like oh okay <laughs> hi yeah welcome to the villa i'm so single but you can come in do you yeah. know what i mean um so it's like that was why i was like why are you doing this to me right now um but do you know what i think i, I didn't want to have too much bad vibes and bad blood i just couldn't be bothered and to be fair i think the good thing is like we're actually cool now because we haven't and spoken you held in like two it years so well we tried. like i don't know how if my ex was in there Different, sorry, I'm 16. I still would have been mad, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You held on to it very well. Oh, I was and trying. it did become a bit X on the beach in there. Oh, it was. I, do you know what's so like mental? I was laugh. I laughed at everyone. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. I laughed at Molly, I laughed at Callum, I laughed at Jake, I laughed at Lib. To all of them as well, I'd be like, <laughs> you have to deal with your ex. <laughs> well. Look what happened. Karma said, look what happened. Keep that laughing. was the producers going, <laughs> <laughs> No, the love and gods were like, here you go. Your turn. And I was like... <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, yeah. it could have been so much worse. You both held it very well, I thought. Yeah, no, I tried. I think I only had one day when I was, like, in tears. I don't know how much of that was shown, but, like, literally, Molly took me to the terrace, and she was just like, it's fine. We are just, like, talking, and, you know, when girl chat just is, like, girl chat, and I was like, Molly, I got on the run. I need to go home. I don't know why I just, why is he here? He's on a date with someone else, and I just have to sit here and watch it. I do remember this, actually. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And then afterwards, I was like, it's fine. Put yourself together. It's fine. Yes. And I just carried on. You can put yourself together. <laughs> that is the thing. But I was going to ask, out of the two, which, which series was your favourite that you've been on? Uh, ooh, seven. Really? Probably seven. Do you know what? You're the first Islander that's been on All Stars yeah. that said they preferred their first to the second. Really? Oh, you, I think with All Stars, it was I, it was a weird one because I was, I was happy and grateful to be there and I genuinely actually got along with everyone. It was more just like I just felt like a spare part half the time and I was kind of, I didn't really know which place myself. I was kind of just like, oh, okay, cool. Like I'd like chill with a couple for like 10 minutes and then one of them would leave chill with the individual. When they come back together, I'm kind of like, Oh, third now wheel. I'm like third wheeling, let me actually move. So I'd move on. So it's like, let's say I'd chill with Molly, we'd be vibing, Tom would come, I'd chill with Tom and Molly, we'd be vibing, they'd be like, let me give them some time. So I'd move, chill with Sophie, we'd be chilling, Josh would come, chill with the two of them. Then I'd be like, now it's getting to third wheel, let me move. Then I'd be like, oh, here's Toby, let's chill. And then it's like, oh, here's Chris, let's chill. But everyone, it was like, I felt like a hot potato constantly. It really, yeah, it must and have I been. And I think I just got off. over it. I was just like, this is, this is fun but not fun yeah so. i feel like if i was you i would have been at the same time obviously it's a great experience but at the same time you would yeah. have felt a bit fed up from it all that's what i mean like i, I can't take away from I would, I would never take away from the show do you know no, what I mean? like yeah when do you just go to be away and be in the sun and just chill you worry about nothing Sounds but amazing. what's in there 
So it's like you're so plugged up from the outside, but then it's like obviously every day it's like, so who who do you like? Who do you fancy? And it's kind of like I have nothing to say. No. I, have, I just got to a point. Where I was like, guys, I have nothing to give. <laughs> Aside from advice, I can't give you anything. So please. No, you was the advice giver though. Oh yeah. But that's great. But at the same time, I feel like you must have struggled with like the whole, you know, all your girls having people in there. Yeah. Then they're just being you. But you're very close with Lib, aren't you? Oh, very. Like literally one of my best friends. Is there anyone else in there that you become quite close with that you didn't maybe expect to come as close with? Um Oh, I think the people I'd say in the my, my closest friends in there outside of Lib would have been Toby, Chris, Sophie, Molly. Like yeah. those are the people I was like, my people. Yeah. And are still my people now. Do you know what I mean? I love that. And then everyone else I was just like, we're still, I'm cool with everyone, but it's like a different level of closeness. I'm like, I can rely on you. I can depend on you type of thing. Do you thing. know what? I love Liberty because I yeah. follow all these people on Instagram, but yeah. when it comes to TikTok, I'm not like, I don't follow people on TikTok from yeah. reality shows because I feel like you stalk their Insta stories. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So, I released that I was doing a book and Liberty was like one of the second people to comment. Yeah. And Aww. I didn't even, and I thought, you are such a nice she person. She's so sweet. She like, seems so lovely. Down to earth and just like, actually just, you know how people are like, it's just a real one. Yeah. She's a real one. She seems like you know such I mean? a real yeah, one. She seems so one. lovely. So ha- tell me about it. Like, how did you guys become so close? Was there a reason or was it just, you <sighs> bonded you know, very well? Yeah, no, we we talk about this all the time. I think it's because we had, we just had, it was so weird. So, First of all, we couldn't pop the champagne bottle. So we were like, we walked into the village together and they're like, go on. And you just walk in and it's kind of just like, oh, there's no one here but us. Okay. And we're trying to like pop the um, corkscrew and like the champagne bottle. We couldn't do it. You we were like, oh, it. can we get some help? It was like dead silent. And we just realized, oh, we're in the villa now. Like, yeah. this is it. So we were like, oh, it took us ages. I don't even remember if we ended up doing it or Sharon came and did it. But we started speaking about like, she said she was from Birmingham. I was like, I went to uni in Birmingham. She went to the same uni as me. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I was like, I'm from Zambia. She'd been to Zambia. And we were just like, whoa, there was just so many things in our past that we realized were so similar. And we we unpacked that within like the first 10 minutes of our conversation. That's so nice. we had so much familiarity and we were literally just like what and then we were trying to work out if we'd been in any of those places at the same time we have a theory we probably have 100 percent. you've crossed Do you know paths. what i mean we read and we've been we're still trying to figure out but we know we know we've crossed paths because there was just so much stuff that was so similar and so random and we were like and i think we just got on from then yeah so, and it yeah. must have felt quite nice to have someone that you can kind of relate to in certain ways oh, in that villa. absolutely so with like kind of coming out the villa you've had a very nice reception i'm guessing everyone's been so lovely as in like everyone has been genuinely I, I i couldn't i couldn't write it like i couldn't make this up like people are so sweet i'm just like like i'm like i got my snap you snapchat now oh, i like, love snapchat <laughs> and i'm so glad you're on it because i saw oh the other day you now. was like guys i'm on my way here and here and i was like yeah my girls and that. Yeah, literally, I'll be like, take people through my day. But it's like, I feel like I'm actually bonding with people in like a really weird way. It's and lovely because you can just swipe so... up and see all their replies. Literally. I wish Instagram did that. I wish that as well. Yeah. It's not the same. Instagram, I feel like I have to be a little bit more like prim and proper and put together. Because I feel like the way I show up on my Snapchat, like, no, the states I show up on my Snapchat, <laughs> I'm like, boy, if I did that on Instagram, I know, I know someone would be like, why don't you um, just adjust Brush your, your hair? Do this. Like, you know, maybe tie it up. And I'm just like, I don't have time for that. Whereas but Snapchat's Snapchat, a different I'm just level. like, it feels like a close friend's story. Um, so I was also going to ask you about like Toby and Chris because yeah. there has been a lot of TikToks going on. <laughs> they are getting you to do some crazy things. I know. Even Toby, like I didn't see this from him. <laughs> but how is that with Toby and Chris? Because obviously in the villa, you yeah. could tell that you guys were friends. But I think yeah. since you come out, I've been like, oh, they're actually like, like friends, friends. friends. Yeah. So and we get do you know what? I feel like we get that a lot. I don't know. I don't see. I've not, I haven't watched back um, All Stars, so I don't know how people have like seen it. But I know people have seen our friendships and stuff. But I get we get that a lot. of People are like, oh my gosh, you're actually friends, and it's like, yeah, like we are. Like they had my back in there. Like yeah. I would like go. They were like my go-to. So it's kind of just like it's. It was very authentic in there. It's carried on the outside. And also, we live quite close to each other. We're all in Essex. So, hey. do you know what I mean? <laughs> Team Essex. So, it's like, it's easy for us to get to each other. Yeah. So, I think that plays a really big part. Um, and, yeah, I mean, with TikToks, listen, 
I'm out now. I'm I'm a TikToker now. <laughs> she's a Snapchat TikToker. I'm a Snapchat. I'm a TikToker. Since she's come out of Love Island, she's a changed woman. I'm, I think it's because coming out this time is different to last time. Because last time I was like, yeah, social media, you're not seeing me. I was like, you are not seeing Ghosted. me unless I care. Whereas this time around, I'm like, actually, you're going to see me through the good, through the bad. I think it's just, a, maybe it's just a difference in my... Um, approach as well like i don't have a change not, of mindset yeah like i'm happy to let people in before i was so guarded like I, I think because i'm so open i'm so i'm more extrovert everyone just assumes that i just share everything yeah but really and truly i'm quite private in a weird way and you probably don't want people to be invading your privacy 24 yeah. 7 but then sometimes i'm like too private so I have to like tell myself like it's okay to share this. So I think before I'd literally post things five days after they happened. Like no one would know where I was until three days later. I'd be like, guys, this is what I did this week. But now look at now her. I'm like, yeah. So an hour ago I was there. <laughs> now you know about it. So yeah, I think I with that. the TikToks, there's a lot of that as well. Like I'm like I'm not scared to just relax and show my friendships and because all of it is stuff that I was doing before. It just wasn't close friends. Now I'm like, you can all see it. <laughs> okay, obviously you're quite private, but I did want to ask. Yeah. What is the relationship status? I am so single. Okay. Any days so, since so you've been out? Um no. I was having a conversation with my mates about this. I haven't been on an actual date since I've been out we need to get you time around. Raya. I've I'll tried get you Raya. Is I've it Raya or Raya? Whatever you call or... it. I don't actually know if it's Raya or Raya. I've tried, you can't, do you know what? You can't filter by location on there. Oh. So I feel like I've matched with people and they'll be like coming to London, visiting London from Miami, visiting London from LA. And they'll be like, let's meet up. And I'm like, okay. And then it gets down to it. I'm like, I'm scared. Oh my God. I didn't <laughs> realize it was like actual other countries. I thought you just yeah. meant like someone from Brum, someone from Manny. No, I feel like majority of people, like when I, when I would scroll on there, no one was really in the UK. It was everyone abroad, which is amazing. But then it was also just like, well, is it going to work? Nah. nah. I just don't think um, online um, dating is for me. Fair enough. I know. That's fine. I'm not going to meet a man. I want him to show up at my door. He will. <laughs> I'm telling you now. I believe that. Yep, he I will. met a girl the other day and I was speaking to her. But her, she was like, she got a boyfriend. I was like, oh, how'd you meet? She was like, so I moved into a new apartment and I was struggling to carry my suitcase upstairs. And his friend lived two floors up and so they helped me. And that's how I met him. And I'm like, people telling me that my man wouldn't show up at my door. He showed up at her door. Yeah. I don't know if that happened for me, but I manifested if it. If I was listening to this, she's going to be like, yeah, that's my love story. No, honestly. Run it up. We need that love story too, <laughs> honestly. Um, so you have done other bits on TV too. Yeah. So tell me about all of these things that you've done. Okay, so I've done different stuff. I feel karaoke. like... Karaoke? I still love karaoke. <laughs> I love that show. So I love karaoke just in general like it's one of my favorite things to do i love going to karaoke bars just having fun it's yeah. just i've been doing karaoke since like 11 i used to have like sing star i don't know if you'd know sing star, star. i'm showing my age here I'm well so... i used to have like a microphone with like yeah. a whole thing and then i yeah. used to play oh i can't think of what it's called now but like this this youtube video where it would come up with a song but like just the back oh, and track okay so like in um, songs to sing i'm like 29 so like in like when i did it there was like it wasn't that. It was like SingStar. I don't know. Is SingStar a thing? <laughs> I'm like, does anyone know SingStar? <laughs> okay, people know SingStar in okay, the room. We're okay. People know SingStar. So it's based, it's kind of like, I don't even know how to watch this. Imagine like a Wii, but yeah. then you can like sing. It's oh, like okay. That. So it's yeah. karaoke on a TV, yeah. basically. Karaoke yeah, on a TV with a little DVD. I am so old. <laughs> but yeah, so, so I would like love doing that. So I did celeb karaoke. It was just an amazing show. I think they've cancelled it now. But I won. So I was like, I'm the karaoke you queen. You are the karaoke I like, queen. Yeah. I was like, let's do it. I was going to ask, have you got anything else coming up in the pipelines? Anything you can tell um, us about? Yeah, the main thing I'm working on is just my own brand now. Amazing. Yeah. Can you give us a little insight? Just, you know, the bonnets are coming out. <laughs> Just the fun, it's a coming out. Was it Chris that kept wearing them? On oh, yeah. I was oh, yeah. laughing, bless him. Because I was like, cause I think it was Mitch. Mitch was quizzing everyone, I think, in the village. Being like, do you know what this is? Because he was so proud. He was like, he knew what a bonnet was. And he was like trying to educate everyone. But everyone pretty much knew. I think only one person didn't. And so he'd be like, oh, damn it. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah. And then Chris was like, so what will that do for my hair? And I was like, honestly, all hair times can wear it. And I yeah. literally was saying to him, like, just wear one to bed. And so I gave him, like, a pink one, I think. And he Did wore it Did you have a bed. few then in your bag? Oh, I had loads because it's like, honey, <laughs> got to keep the hair as neat as possible. Yeah. Gotta try. Keep it intact. Because I think a lot of people were like, why would you wear a bonnet on TV? I'm like, I wear a bonnet at home. Yeah, why wouldn't you? So why wouldn't I? You're on TV, like, you're living. Honestly, what do you want me to do? Wake up, my hair's so crazy. Then you'll be like, sort your hair out. No, you can't yeah. win. You actually can't. Yeah. I never knew people would say such a thing. No, it's honestly. Horrible. Oh, yeah. I think the first time I came up to the show, there was a lot of discourse around it. I was like, oh, 
about that weather bonnet. I've seen that you've said like you're a perfectionist. Yeah. And it can kind of hold you back from posting certain content. Absolutely. How do you kind of get around this? Because I think a lot of people who want to start social media, yeah. or maybe even want to go down your route, do the reality, and then come on social media, yeah. find it hard to kind of get around the whole perfectionist thing. Yeah. I feel like, do you know what? It's, uh, it has, you just have to do it. It's, it's that, that battle, but you have to shut the voices off. So I used to do, so basically, before I went into the show the first time, I was doing um, social media for about two years. So I was doing content. So I used to do like fashion reels before, um, this is before like reels were a thing. So I used to do like loads of fashion videos. And I think the first um, videos I released, like I'd want to have the perfect cover on my Instagram. So I'd like, come into London and shoot the cover. And then eventually I realized I can't do this for every reel if I want to, um, release content quicker daily do you know what i mean so then i was like right i'm just going to start using the covers from the video as the cover it made my page go a little bit more disorganized but i was like i can't so i mean some people can do it really well where their instagram page looks a certain way i couldn't do that no and it would bug me so bad but it would stop me from then doing content i was like no i just you just have to go yeah and i feel like it's also quite nice when you see the journey of your own content like when you look at all like the mistakes you've made and like it's like oh i look back and i'm like oh that was nice i tried something new i kind of liked it. i learned how to edit so i think it's quite nice to see the journey so the best thing you can do is i think consistency over perfection that's all i tell myself 100 it's really hard though i agree with you yeah. completely that and also on your content you do do quite a lot about like self-love and loving yeah. yourself. Um, what kind of advice would you give to someone in that kind of sense as well to love in their self? I feel like your view of yourself has to be way more important than other people's views of, of your um of, of you. Hundred percent. Because everyone's everyone gives their opinion. It could be anything. Like people pick everything apart. Like sometimes people pick apart my makeup, sometimes my outfit, sometimes it's how I've approached something, sometimes it's like how I've written something, my grandma. And I'm just like, listen, we from Essex. Gonna, honestly, <laughs> no, no, but it's honestly, no matter what direction, someone will always say, it's that thing that they say, what's that apples and bananas thing? Like, you could say apples are the best fruit in the world, and someone would be like, grapes are better. Yeah. It's like that. It's like, oh my gosh. But you have to learn to just shut off the noise. I just see it as like background noise. Like, you know, if you're, if you're in, in a car and you're making your way somewhere, you've got a destination to get to. And then sometimes you have like police cars driving by. You just move out the way and you carry on. Yeah. That's how I see it. So if you're driving and you know that police car needs to get somewhere, it's nothing to do with you. If that was the negative comment, I just move out the way, get back in your lane. Yeah. That's how I do it now. So I just see everything as background noise. I love that. And just that. focus on me. And that's the best thing I can say to people. Just, yeah. No, Live also, your life. No Don't one, care. No one really cares that much. Everyone cares about themselves way more than we oh, actually I think. say this. No, literally. We're all too self-conscious to think about way other people. too self-conscious. So it's kind of just like, oh. Learn to love so, yourself. I really, really yeah. agree with that. Just before we get to the listener questions, yeah. we're going to play a game. Okay. So we're going to pick an ick, which is our pick and our ick, so our favourite and our least favourite, okay? okay? Three topics. Okay. First up, makeup product or look. Pick an ick. Oh. Okay. I Opinions. really, I really, really love um, glossy lips. So do I. Yeah. So and do I, I know some people don't like a sticky lip gloss, but I love a sticky lip gloss. Make me be like, yeah, I'm trying I to wanna, move my lips. I literally want to be like, oh, I want to take it off and go like, there. Like, <laughs> I love a glossy lip. Um, makeup ick. Oh, oh, I, oh no, I know mine. Um, like, um, really big lashes. It's just like really big. Like when lashes basically are like touching like your there. brows. I agree with yeah. that. Actually, it's We've for some people. This. It's just, I mean, I don't even have lashes on today. Um, it's for some. It's just not for me. Not for me. Nah. But I've actually moved on because I was kind of going through a phase where I was like, the fuller the better. Yeah. Then I went back to our classics and I was like. Why did I even do that? I'm literally It's the so, way forward. I'm just, I'm like an Ardell Wispy. Someone commented on my lashes, actually, on Snapchat. I was like, why are your eyelashes always childish? I was like, oh my God, don't hate on Ardell Wispies. I love them. I they're love double Ardell. Demi. I was like, they're a double Demi. I love them. Um, okay, right, the next one, fashion look. Um, fashion look. Um, okay, so pick would be like cords. I love a cord. Love a cord. I love a denim cord yeah. at the moment as well. Yeah, literally, you just can't go wrong. I'm just like, oh, and like backless. Like, yeah, I just love, love fashion. But odd maxis, ooh. Um, fashion ick, the... Um... Leggings? No, like the fringe. Fringe. But when the stuff comes things, out. No, things that have got like fringe. Like, you know, if you've got like a leather jacket and it's got the fringe. Yeah. No, I've tried. Yeah, I've I, tried. Agree. I agree with that, actually. I've, I've tried and I can't. Yeah, fringe. Like fringe. Fringe. 
That's what they're called, right? I don't know, but I know what you mean. Where and I feel like, like everyone else will get what you yeah, mean. Yeah, like if you have a leather jacket and then the back. Like, Things ding, coming ding, down. Ding, 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 ding. That. Dangly, cowboy yeah. kind of vibe. Yeah, but see, I like the cowboy aesthetic without the fringe. Yeah, Do okay. You know what I, mean? I agree. Like the, the leather jackets or like the denim jackets, yeah, but not with but the fringe. No fringe. Okay. And peplum. No peplum. Um, and polka dots, actually. You don't like polka no, dots? No, I have beef with polka dots. All right. I don't, I don't think I've ever worn polka dots. I have beef with polka dots. Don't, I don't you think know polka why? dots is quite an English teacher kind of outfit? Yeah, but it's cutesy and I kind of like it. Like Mickey, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse have polka dots, right? Oh, yeah, but they're I think cute. so. Like, I like it on that. But in general, maybe it's because they don't suit me. But yeah. I have beef. You have beef. Polka dots, yeah. I just don't particularly think I'd ever wear polka dots. But the next one, <laughs> a Love Island season, pick an egg. Um, Love Island season, oh, between either of the two. Or maybe just any Love Island season that you've liked and you've not liked as much. Oh, like watching them? Yeah. Oh, ooh. Um, there was one series where I was so uninterested, but I can't think what series it was. I shouldn't put ick, but I'll put All Stars as an ick for me because I was an unpaid therapist the whole time. <laughs> I wasn't in Love Island. I wasn't even, I was on Friend Island. You was on Friend Island. It was all your mates were just ick. loved up. That's your ick. ick. And your pick's got to be your season, no? Yeah, so I'd give um, All Stars Ick um, and then pick. Oh, as much as I loved doing my season, I haven't watched my season back, so I'll give pick to season five because I think that season was so good. Like, so Molly, the one had like Molly May, yeah, Tommy. Yeah, that was a good season. Such a good season. So I'd give that my pick. Okay, my pick has got to be All Stars. I'm yeah. sorry. What? It was so good. Not your pick being my ick. Yeah, sorry. It was so good. I'm going to have to put it out there. Best <laughs> series I've ever watched. <laughs> But my ick, yeah. you know, I don't know what series it was, but the one that had like Liv Zara, Winter, Winter um, something. No, that's Winter. That's season Winter series. Um, so I did seven. Summer would have been eight. Win nine. Nine. Season nine. Didn't like season <gasps> nine. Did you not? Know? Didn't get into it whatsoever. Ah. Who won it? Um, Kyan Sanam won that one. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't watch that one at all, really. Yeah. I think it just, the cast didn't blend. Yeah. I didn't watch it and be like, this is good TV. I was just like, yeah, yeah. it's on. I don't think they liked each other very much on that season, to be fair. No, there no. was quite a lot of beef. I but think... I like it when they're friends and then they beef because it's just uh, funny because you know they're going to be friends again. Stuff. Yeah. That's really my favourite. So, yeah, my least favourite has got to be yeah. the season nine. Season nine. Season Winter. nine. Yeah. Winter was not my one. Fair. Right, we're going to move on to listener questions. Okay. So, for everyone listening and watching, you can DM me at Amy Charlize's private story on Instagram and we work through them and we basically pick four questions each week to answer. So, you can go DM me now. First off, Rosalind says, how do you cope with boys? That is how a do I big cope statement. With boys? Do you know, I get asked this all the time on Snapchat. To be honest, I just don't. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, how do you cope with boys? Don't prioritise them. Like, don't let them take over your day. Because I've done that before. Like, there was one time, so embarrassing. I really fancied this guy. And um, he honestly just hadn't replied to me. And I'm not even joking. My whole day was ruined. I didn't go out with my mates. I was just on the phone waiting. Or, like, sometimes if you make a plan, if, like, a guy plans a date, and you're just like, oh, my God, I'm going to see him. And then he cancels, and you just don't make alternative plans for your evening. Like, don't wait on boys. Yeah. That's the first thing I'd say. Um... Yeah, I think if you don't prioritise them and you're prioritising yourself and you have your own kind of boundaries for what you want, what you expect, and you stick to that, that's the best way to deal. And Just also, make, boys love girls that don't act world. interested. Honestly. They actually do. Every boy I know is like, yeah, I love it when girls don't act interested. I'm like, what? It's like, so, as soon as they have an inkling you fancy them, they're like... And I'm like... <gasps> Smug, smug. Or all of a sudden, so, it's like, you like me first. <laughs> when you're like into them and you find into them, they do something bad, you're like, you like me first. Yeah, why are we pretending <laughs> you didn't fancy me and I just like pretended I did for a while and then actually did? Let's, no, just, let's just get that one straight. Yeah. Okay, I agree with that one. Ellie says, what's something you're proud of achieving? Oh, proud of achieving? Um, do you know what? It's probably like, so I left my job at 24 yeah. with no plan. <laughs> Lol. Zero plan because I really I was in a nine to five for like two three, two years after uni and I really wasn't enjoying it and I was like I don't want to do this anymore so I left and I was like right I'm just gonna do social media that's what I told my mum because I had no plan I said I'm doing Instagram and she's like I'm giving you a year and I haven't looked back since so probably that just actually, actually just taking the chance yeah taking the chance in my life and just being like yeah cool want to just do things as I want to do them I love that I um, that. for me probably this podcast yeah. My book. Yeah. There's a few things I'm proud of. Smashed and just it. having followers. It's just quite 
like achieving it, when yeah. you actually get the response that you always exactly. dreamt of. Because I think vibe. sometimes people make it very focus on the superficial side of it but it's actually like there are so many people you can genuinely impact in like a positive way do you know what i mean i love it's it's quite nice to be able to know you can access them and you're just authentic and you should be proud of you like this is gorgeous i'm like like, oh my god thanks girl okay right the next one caitlin yeah she says where'd you get your holiday outfits oh everywhere um, I love Jaded London for holiday bits. I feel like they've just got some nice, unique pieces. Yeah. Um, I used to wear the cords as cords, but now I've started learning how to just take a top from a cord and pair it with something else. Yeah, I um, love doing that. So I'm like that. So I think I go there a lot. Um, yeah, and then just everywhere, like any basic shop. Yeah, like honestly, everywhere. Even like, I don't know. Mainly Jaded London a lot. Um, I'm a PLT Revolve, girl. Love PLT, Meshki. Right, Erin says, is it a good yeah. idea to get back with an ex? No! no. <laughs> do not no. do it. <laughs> no. No, don't do it. I feel like in the past of like like relationships where I have done it, it, it didn't work out. First time it didn't work out when we rekindled. I know it does for some. I've just come to the conclusion that there's the exception and the rule. The exception is the people it works out for. The general rule is it's not going to work out. You're an ex for a reason. So just don't do it. Yeah, so I just I don't think there's much point in doing it. I've gone back many times to specific ex and it didn't work out any time. And you just end up hating each other more but and more. it's fine. That's what sometimes people, what's that thing when they're like, sometimes you just have to go back to realise how much you hate it. Don't follow that advice. Don't. <laughs> honestly, don't listen to just it. Just walk away the first time. And never look back. Honestly, like Move better on. will always come for you at a different point. And you You'll thank yourself as well, honestly. So <laughs> that is the end of the questions. But guys, like I said before, you can DM me on at Amy Charlize's private story to literally ask a question for next app. But I've got one more question to ask you. Okay. What is your private story? They um let me so on the when we came back into the villa, in that time, we don't have our phones get taken away from us. And I was like, <gasps> but I'm in my TikTok era. I am in my TikTok. You can't take my phone away from me. So the producer's really nice. One of them let me use um, his phone to film one of the TikToks that I did behind the scenes when our phones were taken away. And I was like, <laughs> shut I was up. like, thank you. And we're like, how'd you get a phone? And I was like, I would have loved <laughs> Just it. walking around with one of the exec's phones like, yeah. <laughs> Have I'm you ever girl. had that in Ireland though? Like, you know, on your day off, yeah. Did you ever get to like sneak on like phones? That's no. quite juicy. I know some people have managed to do it, but we didn't. Oh, the boys in my one though, they managed to sneak. The boys got really lit actually on um one of our ones. The I think it was the Island Beach Club, something like that. So obviously you're not meant to have any drinks in Love Island beyond the two. However, the boys managed somehow, some way, to get hold of alcohol. <laughs> Oh my god, you are joking. They were lit. Like, they literally, I don't know how they did it. They got in so much trouble, though. Like, they got in so much trouble. And I was like, How did no one clock on? Because there's cameras everywhere. So we weren't on side. We'd gone to like to the, the, beach, film, to the place. beach club. I thought we'd still be the same there. I don't know how they did it. And I was like, Why didn't they involve us? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Why didn't you involve the girls? <laughs> Tell the oh, girls. Too, but they were so because you know we have like two drinks in there. They literally necked like bottles of like wine and prosecco. I was like, I was so jealous. Like, that is a great that. story. I know they're not meant to do that, but they were so lit, and then they were just there, like yeah. And I was like, I can't believe you're drunk. Was this the mood. time when George still and Molly had that beef? Yes, it was that day. That day. That day. But everyone was just standing there, like, oh, those boys Watch were lit. <laughs> they, that <laughs> the makes rest sense. Of us were just sober, like yeah. And then it poured absolute buckets of rain after that. It was like pouring rain because we were meant to fil- film the rest of the evening. Then we didn't. And we were back in like the... Um, I did think the, it was a really short... Normally it's the whole night there, isn't yeah. it? And then it gets dark. Then they uh, do like the no, rest. Baby, it was like pouring rain. Like when we got back to the villa, all our hair was wet. We had to like, like do our hair again. And it was just like we were boys and girls separated and we were just like, freezing and then just being like, so we're going to bed. <laughs> It's a so long like, night. It was a very long night. We had to wait hours before we could film again. And then oh we filmed in the villa. It was oh mental. My God. I was like, what on earth? What a private story. So, yeah. I just found out that all the boys got drunk. All the boys got really drunk. And the rest of us were like, what's going on? I was so jealous. I was like, oh, Guys, if you're like, why does it matter? They're not meant to drink. Like, it's no. a really strict rule that you get yeah, two drinks a night. Yeah, literally two drinks a night. Because to be honest, it's like, okay. Like, what's the point of being, like, sloppy? Like, it's not a vibe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
I yeah, agree. It's just not a vibe. But thank you so much for coming on. No it's been worries. so amazing to have you on. Oh, thanks for and guys, me. make sure to check out Kaz on all socials, especially Snapchat and TikTok. <laughs> She's a queen on there. Guys, thank you so, so much for listening to this episode of Amy Charlize's Private Story. You can subscribe now on YouTube as well as follow me on Spotify or your podcast app of choice. And make sure to like, comment, and leave a review now. Make sure you also send in your question, stories, and dilemmas over at Amy Charlize's Private Story on Instagram. And you can also follow me on TikTok and Snapchat. Thanks so much. Bye.